Elden Ring runes, items, and weapons up to plus 10 and plus 25 and max level on PC, PS4, and Xbox. Head over to u4gm.com and use the code CARPOL for 5% off. Once again, welcome back to another Elden Ring video. Today, we have another cool weapon to get after. The Beast Claw Great Hammer. Yeah, this one's going to be a little bit different because you're going to need to earn this. Yep, with death roots, but no worries, I got you covered. I'll show you exactly what you need to do in order to pick this up today. So once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Now, in order to get this weapon, you need to earn it. Yep, you're going to need some death roots. And in order to get this, you need to head over to Grang the Clergyman. Well, how do you get there? You need to first head over to the Third Church of America from the very first steps. It's a rather short and easy place and you should have known what this is. But if you knew, no worries, I got you covered. Head to the Third Church of America. There is a teleporter over here that you can use that's going to spawn you right near here to the Green Nose Dragon Barrel. From here, head into the doors. You're going to be at the Beastal Sanctum. And behind that door will be the dude Garan. And he is the clergyman and he eats death roots. Now, in order to get this weapon, you're going to have to give him seven death roots. So, yeah, as you are playing and you see those death roots pop up, this is your chance to bring them back to him. And after you give him the death root, he's going to have a little dialogue with you. He needs to tell you to feed him or he's going to give you a nice reward. On the seven death root, you're going to get the Beast Claw Great Hammer. Now, you need a strength of 20, dexterity of 10, and a faith of 18 in order to will the special ability, the unique skill called Regal Beast Claw. Slam the hammer into the ground, rendering the land asunder with the Ornaments 5 Beast of Claw. This is also another reward that he can give you as an incantation. So let's do some testing right here against some smaller ads at the gate fronts, and oh boy, does it do work. Easily one shot these guys, and you can take out multiple enemies with this weapon, making it not only fun to use, but very, very useful. Yeah, that guy right there, he don't want nothing. Oh, I guess he do. Well, ba bam take some more of that claw. <laughs> nice. All right, now what we're going to do is see this against the Guardian Golem and just two hits against this boss. And yep, down for the count. Just like that. And we're going to take it to the mountaintops of the giant to see what kind of work you do. We're going to pop our lovely golden bow and ba bam hit him with that. Ba bam hit him with that again. He does a nice little roll. Come on, come get some more of this beast claw. But bam! Another cool thing about this is the range that you have with that. And it can stun enemies as you saw just right there. So all in all, the beast claw is nice. Yeah, it might take you a little time to get it. It is a little secret, a little hidden. But the beast claw hammer can be yours today. I showed you where to go. Pick it up. Now all you have to do is get out there, grind a little bit, and get yourself this lovely weapon. But for right now, that's pretty much going for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing and welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Right here at Carpo Game, we'll upload a wide variety of videos ranging from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next one. Later.